In this video, I'm birding Southern Ohio in mid-migration. A huge lightning and thunderstorm just came through last night, so there's a ton of warblers that are now down in the trees, and tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go try to find them. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, so I'm super happy to say that the rain has stopped. It rained all last night, and um, actually it's gonna be good, because now what's happening is as all the birds flood north in their migration, the, they don't wanna fly in the rain, so they're gonna come down to the ground to feed and uh, be in the trees, and they're gonna do that at the first spot they see. So they said flood warning on the uh, the weather app and I thought they were joking. When we arrived at our birding location, it was made clear to us that a lot of water had come down through the night. This was a good thing because now all the birds were down on the ground and feeding. The first warbler we saw of the day was this beautiful American red start. Moving on a little farther, I got nice views of this indigo bunting and saw another great crested flycatcher. This eastern bluebird gave me nice views, and it was really cool to see. All right, quick pause. Gotta remind you, stay till the end of the video because I am telling you, the warblers I saw were incredible. You do not want to miss this. Watch to the end of the video. This female northern cardinal gave me nice views, and I got lucky when I saw this red-eyed vireo. What a cool bird. Moving on a little farther down the trail, I hit a thrush spot, finding Swainson's and wood thrush right next to each other. This Viri gave me nice views and it was really cool to see because I don't normally see them back in Idaho. I saw another rose-breasted grosbeak as I was walking down the trail looking for warblers and then stumbled into this tufted titmouse, a brown-headed cowbird, this nice chipping sparrow, and this type of tanager. All right, get ready, because here is the warblers. Warbler warning on the screen now. We're about to show you the warblers I saw. I started off finding this nice Nashville warbler, which gave me nice views. I got this great photo, which I'm pretty proud of. The next warbler I saw was a magnolia warbler, and I am telling you, I freaked out when I saw this. This was a bird that I've been always wanting to see, the magnolia warbler, so I was super excited when I saw it. Just look at how pretty that bird is. It's so beautiful. Then I got a Wilson's warbler, which was very unexpected. And then this Tennessee warbler, which was singing. It was crazy. There was like warblers all over the place. Then I got this Northern Perula, which gave me short views. And then this yellow-throated warbler, another really cool bird. I got incredible views of this black and white warbler, the best I've gotten the all trip. The black and white warbler is one of my favorites I saw due to the nice contrast of its colors. My second favorite warbler of the day was this black-throated green warbler, another lifer. The black-throated green warbler, as well as a bird that I've always wanted to see. And I've always read about them in books, but never got the chance to see one. Finally seeing one was super cool, and I got great views. Look at how pretty that bird is. The black-throated green warbler has a black throat, white belly, yellow-green face and back, white wing bars, and a green top of the head and back. Moving on, I saw another really cool warbler, the blue-winged warbler. I got short views, but it was enough to identify it and still really cool to see. Again, just look at how beautiful that bird is. My favorite warbler of the day was this beautiful prothonotary warbler, which gave me great views. Right next to the prothonotary warbler was this Louisiana water thrush. I had seen a northern water thrush earlier in the trip, but this was a lifer and a very cool bird. Louisiana water thrush, lifer. Okay, look at that. This is how you identify them. Look at the throat. See how there's very little barring? 
and the white eye stripe is very prominent. That's how you know it's a, nor a wa Louisiana water thrush. The northern's gonna have barring on the throat. On the way back, I saw another northern perula. This was one of the, my favorite birding trips of all time, and it was unbelievable how many warblers I saw. Walking back, I also got this indigo bunting and this American goldfinch. This blue-gray gnatcatcher gave me short but great views. And I got really good views of this male northern cardinal. Another bird I saw in an interesting place was the wood duck. This male had flew up to a tree, and later on I saw this female with her chicks. Look at how cute they are. I was able to see this Carolina wren, which gave me incredible views. The last bird I saw of the day was this blue-headed vireo, and another lifer. What an absolutely great way to wrap up an absolutely incredible day of birding. Thank you so much for watching this video, and stay tuned to my channel, because in my next video, I'm going to be birding Southern Ohio for the final day. I see birds such as Common Yellowthroat, Song Sparrow, and tons others. Okay, my favorite bird of the trip so far is the indigo bunting, and maybe the eastern bluebird. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and stay tuned.